השם נא אבישי, בא השם ברכה תודה. Sound is right. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Sound is right. All right, we good now. Okay, should be good now. So like, yeah. all right, we good now. All right, so once again, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Kodash. Double honor to the head elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom Yaakim here and abroad. All right, once again, we bringing out the prophecies, the word of Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Kodash. All right, the pestilences and the prophecies. That's coming to pass as we speak. <coughs> These are the last days that the scriptures speak about. Okay. And in the, in the last days, it speaks about, you know, how uh, pestilences and wars and rumors of wars and all these things would come to pass. All right. And we're living in it. We got the coronavirus, the different um, bird flus and, the, you know, all of these things, these strange events happening worldwide because the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, is working in the earth. To bring to pass the kingdom of heaven, all right, to take down this damn this this rulership, this you know current kingdom which is ruled by the Edomites. Go ahead. This is um Habakkuk chapter two verse one. Mm -hmm. I will stand upon my watch. Right, that's what the prophets would do. They will watch for what? They will watch for oncoming opposing forces against the city. All right. It says and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am approved. That's right. All right. And what's 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 being said? All right. The prophecies, the things that the Most High said will come to pass. Well, one major thing that came to pass is the captivity of Israel. All right. Deuteronomy 28 chapter. All right. That came to pass. All right. Th those are prophecies that we, uh, as a people, fit the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Go ahead. It says, um. Verse 2, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain. Right, and, and now we're living, we're living in the, the, the end of the end, man. The, the end of days, man. All right, the end of the end, if I'm saying it right, okay? The end two. of days. And the Lord answered yeah. me. That's right. It says, and the Lord, I'm going to read it again. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. Yeah, and the vision mainly is the final prophecies that are going to come to pass, all right, in bringing down the current rulership at hand. The current rulership at hand is under Esau, the Edomites, okay? okay. They, they're, ruling, they're ruling the world right now, all right? And we know what the scriptures say about Esau is the end of the world. So the vision, all right, is the martial law, the new world order being set up, all right, the different events that's going to take place that bring down this current rulership. That's right. We can't forget about the floods. Absolutely. We can't forget about the fires. Right. We can't forget about the um, so-called UFO um, sightings That's throughout right. the four corners of the earth, the earthquakes. We can't forget about the volcano eruptions. All that's prophecy, man. 
It says, um, verse Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak yeah, and we, not lie. We at the end. So we are in we're in those appointed times where the most high is gonna bring to pass, you know, the uh mark of the beast. It's gonna bring to pass the uh anarchy and the uprising of the people, the great miseries that's gonna come upon the world. All right, because why? This world is upside down. This world is wicked before the eyes of Yahweh Bakshim Yahweh Shai, and it's going to be judged. It says, it's going to be judged with fire. <clears throat> right? It says, though it tarry, wait for it. Right, because we're in the flesh, and you know, a year, uh, one year to us is, you know, a mil not even a second to the Lord, because our years, our our day is not the Lord's day. So That's right. it seems to us in this weak, feeble bodies that we have that are subject to vanity that is going that is that is taking long. Go ahead. Because it, sh it will surely come to pass. It's surely coming. It's surely coming. All right? Like like the brother brought out, man. You've got all kinds of so-called natural disasters. All right? That's taking place. Fires and storms and hurricanes and earthquakes. Tornadoes and mudslides. All of these things are happening worldwide. Why? Because the Most High is doing that. The Most High is judging by those by those uh, certain ways, man. That's right. Go ahead. He says, it will not tarry. Verse 4. Behold, his soul which is which is lifted up is not upright in him. Wow, it said, Behold, his soul. Who's this his? Who is this talking about? It's talking about the ruler of the earth. Alright? Go to Job 9 and 24, you'll find out that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So the his is the wicked, which is represented as a nation on this earth, and it's the Edomites. Esau, Edom. So his soul, the one that rules the world. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. Uh. Right? So his soul is not upright. This Edomite soul, look, look what they're doing to the earth. They're polluting the air, the water. you got all kinds of homosexuals running around. All kinds of madness. That everything is out of order. Can I say this real quick? Yeah. Dwayne Wade and his wife was condoning that his son wanted to be a female. And then I saw on World Star Hip Hop that the game, you know, he was... Defending that shit, man. Saying that you nigga shut the fuck up. And he's supposed to be a gangster, he supposed to be a rapper. A, yeah, yeah, you ain't nothing but a yeah, faggot, fangster. You know what I mean? Or whatever you want to call it, a fangster, man. Because <laughs> you, because you were indulging in the new word I created, homoism. Oh, homoism. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta yeah, yeah, okay, bro. You, 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 you a hole lover. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Just, uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. And what are the former things, man, that came to pass? 70 AD, you know, the destruction of the temple, Jew, I'm saying the, um, the Israelites being scattered, slavery, you know, um, different other prophecies that came to pass, man. Those are the former things, man. Now the new things that the Most High is declaring that's going to come to pass, such as the offer the Michael chip, you know. The um, martial law of Jacob's trouble. Those are the new things that's going to spring up. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Before they come, the Most High is telling you to do his prophets, man. Do the mouth of his prophets. Read it again, Bobby Kishan, real quick. Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass. And some of the former things that have came, that have came to pass that I mentioned, 70 AD. The destruction of Jerusalem. You know, um, Yahweh Shah being put on the cross. You know, as a sacrificial land for the for the sons of Israel. You know, um, yeah. um, I mean, um, uh, the, John, the um, Esau Baptist. coming, Esau, yeah, the, uh, the, the beheading of John the Baptist, Esau coming back into power, and we're not we in the time of the Renaissance, whereas the Roman Empire, that deadly wound was healed. All them things came to pass, man. But now new things are springing up, like I said, such as um, the mandatory microchip of the whole planet Earth, man. The New World Order enterprise that you saw, then he gonna successfully complete and successfully, you know, um, accomplish. But it's gonna be he's gonna be having derision. But these are new things that's springing up, man. Also, the coronavirus is a new disease that was not written in the scriptures, man. If the taking the scriptures, even plagues is not written in the book. It's gonna um, it's gonna take all the people, man. Peace up. There's more. Real quick. <laughs> 
Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how the most I tell you of these things that spring forth, man, through his prophets, man, from the apostles on down to the elders and the teachers and the prophets, man, that's out there on the highways and the byways, that's putting up videos week in and week out on the highways and the byways, man, putting themselves in harm's way. Cause that's what we doing, man, on the battlefield. Because anything can happen on the battlefield, man. We're putting ourselves in harm's way, but guess what? The most high Yahweh, why Yahweh should have that hedge around us, man, whereas nothing's going to happen. Because it's been, it's been episodes where, where Edomites came by strapped with guns and shit, you know what I'm saying? We was up in another location, and you know what I mean? And, um, hey, you know what I mean? He said, yo, remember that town? I'm saying, remember that town? But yeah, you was there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. on where we was at when we moved from The last yeah. location, you know what I'm saying? I remember, I remember. Dude yeah. had a, he lifted up his stomach, yeah, lifted up his shirt, and he had a ratchet. He had a ratchet on his stomach, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, so it's been times, man, but guess what? He didn't do that because the most I had that, the manager had a hedge around us, man. Yeah. So we putting ourselves in, in um, jeopardy. We putting ourselves in danger. Hey, and that's being a part of this, this being a part of this thing about us. Yeah, bro. Yeah, um, that's why the scriptures say the most high was set in the midst of Egypt, an altar. And we, we are that altar, man. That's right. You know? So, you can't, bro. You got more? That was it. No, so, okay, man, <coughs> this is Ezekiel. <coughs> This is Ezekiel 5 and 17. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And that's what you see what's going on right now, exactly, man. These pestilence with the coronavirus, then you got SARS, then you have the bird flu, the swine flu, you have all these all these diseases coming out of China. But guess what? When you really go deeper into the history of it, you know, Esau, through the CDC, Esau being a so-called white man, likes to create diseases. But guess what? He's not doing it on his own. These diseases that he's creating is the most out on the, using Esau on the left, but on the left-hand side. Because Esau is the sword, and pestilence is the sword. So Esau is being used by Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah because he's a puppet. Esau is a puppet. Just like everybody else are puppets, because the most high is the ultimate, ultimate puppet master. Mm -hmm. So Esau is being used, but on the left hand side, to bring forth these pestilence, man, which are the coronavirus, SARS, bird flu, swine flu, and any other diseases out there that that's uncontainable. Yeah, bro. And I will bring the sword upon thee. And the sword that the most high is going to bring upon thee, which are the sons of Israel. It's Esau, the so-called white man. He is the sword of the Most High. But so is the Psalms, the 17th chapter, the 13th verse. And that's why King David said, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. His new world of enterprise. Because Esau is the is the sword that the Most High set up, man. The whooping stick that the Most High have used against all, not just Israel, but all the rest of the nations, man. Because Esau is ruling. Because he is, hey, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9 to 24. In order for you to find out who is the wicked, Monica, the first chapter, the fourth verse, explains who is the wicked, man. So you got more? It says, I, it says, I, Yahweh, have spoken it. The head of Most High has spoken it, man. And that's plain cut and to the point, man. There's a lot of, there's a lot of shit happening right now, man. That, and we put it up on, on, on the video. Hey, the video make it, um, straight. straight. Because each time I put up a video on the coronavirus, they, they took my channel down. I'm saying, not the channel, they took my video down. Or they flagged one video, I'm saying, one channel that I put the video on, and then I got word through the um, internet, through the um, Gmail, because YouTube was send you an email and said they, they gave you a strike, or they take the video down. So I was like, oh shit. So I, it prompted me to take the videos down from all the channels that I was putting it up on the coronavirus twice. So it was something that Esau don't want us to know. It's something that Esau do not want. The public to know about this coronavirus, man. And we bring in our facts. Okay, that's it. But you got something else? You got that, bro? No, that's it. This is... You got it back, bro. Real quick. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And say... <laughs> Hold on. Read <laughs> that again. <laughs> Amos chapter 9, verse 10. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. Start at 8, brother. Verse 8. Behold, <clears throat> the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. Okay. It said, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? All right? The Most High and His Son are watching. It said, a sinful kingdom. Now, what is sin? Sin is transgressing of the law. 
Right. What law? The Bible's law. All right? Does not America transgress the law of the Bible? All right? Every day, all day. Okay? Here it is in, what was it, 1983. The president at the time, who is now dead, he's a, he's a dead, he's in the grave, but he's going to come back as a slave. The actor. Yeah, the actor Ronald Reagan himself. All right? The great Ronald Reagan said that in 1983, the Bible is the law of the land of America, man. But here it is. We can go all the way back to 1776, where they said they founded, all right, America on Christian principles. Christian values. Christian values and principles, whatever, okay. whatever you want to call it, okay? So, is this not hip hypocrisy? Yep. <laughs> this is complete hypocrisy. You know, the, the word hypocrite, when you go into the etymology, it means an actor. And that's what Ronald Reagan was. Hey, yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> and, and what nationality was Ronald Reagan? The goddamn meat of Red Hebrew, right? Just like, just like his predecessor, predecessors, right? Adam Weishaupt, all right, and uh, Albert Pike, and all those different shriners or ma masons that uh, you know brought up this place that we know today as the United States of America, man. Real quick. The not simple you, kingdom, go ahead. Now that you mentioned Albert Pike, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Albert Pike wrote a book called Morals and Dogma in 1770, no, in 1871. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, yeah, 1871, yeah. talk about the three world major wars. Yeah, Hegelian now, dialectics. Yeah, yo, how in the hell, that's now it's Hegelian dialectic. That's right. Yeah. Now, how in the hell, now, show you that these Edomites planted this shit long ago within the 1700s, right? Now, this is something that they knew. See, they understand reincarnation. Esau understand reincarnation. That's why they, they knew they wasn't going to live to see this this in the 1700s because they know it's going it's going to take quite some time for them to for them to establish it stealthily. So during that time, one of the elite crackers who started the um, Ku Klux Klan was mm -hmm. one of the founders of the Ku Klux Klan, which, right. is Robert, which is which um, Albert Pike. Albert Pike. That's right. And he also wrote newspapers and shit and everything. But um, he was the editor of the newspaper column. But anyway, yeah. this dude wrote about the three world major wars. The first one, the second world war, and the third world war. He said it was going to be with um, Zionism against um, Arabs. Hmm. How did he know that? How did he know that? And guess what? We're in the third world war, the beginning of the third war, in the midst of the third world's war, and on a small scale. And who are the Zionists fighting against? Yeah. Arabs. But how did he know that though? <clears throat> was he a prophet? Hell no, he wasn't no prophet. He was he's, planned. He's a man. warlock. He's a warlock. He's he a, a warlock. He's a warlock. It was planned. He was one of the highest ranking Mason Mason uh, Masons uh, in, in that of that time. At that time, exactly. And it was yeah. planned. Mm -hmm. He wasn't no no special dude. That was planned back then the time of Adam Weissett. Then the time of the Bavarian Illuminati, when, and then he was in Bavaria, Germany, and they was establishing the New World Order through through um, Freemasonry and um, the Illuminati with Adam Wasep. They was establishing that, so he knew from the transcripts and the papers from 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 the past, a hundred years before, that that um this thing was going to come to pass. And I and, and Albert Pike also knew that he wasn't going to live to see this future. A scrap again, so should I say this future event? But guess what? He understood reincarnation. So he, that bastard probably back right now to this day, man. We don't know who he is. Right. Hence, we we read the scripture again. Read Amos chapter nine verse eight. Uh huh. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. America is that sinful kingdom, man. It was based off of complete rebellion against the Most High. And what's rebellion against the Most High essentially? Witchcraft. But rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. That's right. Okay, so this is what America is founded on. You go to Nahum, and we can read about the mistress of witchcraft. Isaiah 47. Right? We go to Isaiah 47, and we can read about, you know, uh, come down and sit in the dust. Somebody get some of Right? We're going to get all those, Lord willing. We'll get those just to prove this is the simple kingdom Isaiah according 47. to prophecy. America is that simple kingdom. Come on. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And the Lord said he will what? And I will destroy he's it. He's gonna build it up, brother. And I will destroy it. He's going, he's going, he's gonna set it up. He's, and, he's going to rule forever, brother. And I will destroy it from the from off the face of the earth. So the most high said he will destroy it. Alright, so America, according to the Bible, will be destroyed. Alright? Why? Because it's a sinful kingdom. The most high 
like the scriptures say, you don't give no man license to sin. All right, you can't sin and get away with it. All right, as a man soweth, that shall he reap. You know what? Let's get Job four and eight real quick. We haven't brought that out in a while. Let's get Job the Job. fourth chapter and the eighth okay. verse. This is Job chapter four verse eight. Even as I have seen, even as I have seen, go ahead. They that plow iniquity. They that plow iniquity, mm. which is what sin, sin upon sin. Uh, Esau, Esau, Edom. All he's done in this world is plow sin. All right, just like you plow a field, you 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 dig up the field and you plant the seeds. Well, Esau has plant the seeds of iniquity. Man. <clears throat> That's right. How was America gotten? Robbery, rape, and murder. How is it still being upheld? Complete lies, more robbery, rape, and murder. You got a prison industrial complex. You got a military industrial complex. All right, you got a human trafficking, drug trafficking, and the list goes on. How do you get around these facts? This is all iniquity, plowing iniquity in the earth. All right, go ahead. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So you get what you get. You reap what you sow. Okay? You do evil, you get evil. No good comes from evil, man. Good doesn't beget evil. And this is what Esau is doing on earth. He's trying to upset the natural balance of things. All right? Which is impossible. Go ahead. Yeah, because you said, um, how is Esau, you know, allowed to do these things? Mm -hmm. This is, um, Luke 21 and 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall, shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Right, because, you know, Israel rebelled against the Most High. That's right. All right. The nation of Israel was found in the eyes of the Most High, wanting, all right, and, and guilty of, of breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? So they was what? Punished. Israel was punished. Okay? And it was what? Put into slavery. Under all the nations on the face of the earth. That's right. All right? And now we are under we are under the worst of the heathen. Matter of fact, because you brought that out, let me just bring this scripture out. Ezekiel 39 and 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel... Went into captivity for their iniquity. That's right. And, and Esau knew these things. Started with the international bigots. They know why we, who we are and why we in a, in the state we into this very day, man. In the land of America, man. Wearing our pants, hanging off our ass. Homosexuals, lesbians, transgenders, being gangbangers, drug addicts. The lowest of the low. Esau knows. Some of the international bankers know why we in that state. They know who we are. They know we are the Israelites, and they know we sinned against our power, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. And that's why we in the state we in right now to this very day, man. In the land of our captivity, pursuant to um, um, Baruch chapter eight and three. three no, second three and eight. Slack here. God, it says, because they trespassed against me, therefore did I my face from them. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. And that's why we in the same we in the situation because the because the Most High we transgress the law of the commandments of the Most High. So he hid his face from us and gave <coughs> us over to our enemy. And the ultimate enemy of Israel is Esau. Yep, I got you. So fell they all by the sword. And so fell we all by the sword. Who has the blessing of the sword? What nation has the blessing of the sword? It's not Esau <laughs> was given the blessing of the sword That's through it. our forefather Isaac. That's it. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. What's the part of um, Israel's uncleanness? Sacrificing their, sacrificing their children to the Molech, bowing down to idols, right. being idolatry. homosexual, yeah, idolatry. idolatry, committing spiritual idolatry. Adultery. It's like adultery. a spiritual adultery and physical adultery. Yep, that's it. You know? That's it. That was it. Doing that which is not right in the eyes of the Mosai. And that's see. why the Mosai brought all these calamities upon us, man. We got yeah, more? No, go back to what Kasai was reading. Because, yeah, you know. There's a little more on that Kasai. Yeah, read it. Come uh, on. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun. Mm, and new moon. lunar eclipses, solar eclipses. Right? Go ahead. And in the moon. And yes. The, and in the stars. Yeah, you know, the, uh, there's, there's there's countless stars, you know, all right? And it's like, 
dealing with this area, New York City, this place is cursed, man. <laughs> because on a on a on a on a a rare occasion you might see a few stars in the sky. But the most high like blotted out the, the, the stars from the New York City area for the most part, man. This is you can only you can only see the you can only see the uh the main brightest stars in the in the constellations. Like the Big Dipper. All right. Mainly, not even the Big Dipper sometimes. You can only see the North Star for the most part. You can always see a North Star. But as far as the Big Dipper and the, 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 the what they call the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper and all that, you can't even see that here in the New York City area, man. Because this place has a dark, uh, dark spirit over it, man. That's right? why they call this place um, Gotham. That's right, you know. That's right. Because this place is, this place, this place is a mixture of all kind of wickedness, man. Yeah, because this is the place. This is the main. This is like one of the main hubs where all of the nations come together. I mean, look, you got the UN building here. You got, hey, bro, you got museums here that's renowned all over the globe, like. Huh? The, the the Metropolitan Museum, the Natural Mu Museum of History, the Cloisters, the Cloisters, bro, like those are the Smithsonian, those are top top echelon museums, man. That only the uh, elite bankers really know the kind of history that involves that. Because they fund them, and if you go into these 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 um museums, right, and you look on the plaques of the of the funding of these um, museums to keep it going, you yeah. see nothing but Nothing but um, heartbreaking um, elites, man. Yeah, people that you never even heard of. You know, so just say, just to say that, because the the scripture said, what about the stars? Mm -hmm. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun mm -hmm. and in the moon. Oh, red moons, blue moons, right? Wolf moons, Wolf moon and all of that. Those are all signs. Go ahead. And in the stars. Go ahead. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. And this is where the wars and rumors of wars and the different, um, you know, different events are happening that are all over the world that are affecting how things are going. Okay. This and is the uh, brothers call it the algorithm. And perplexity yeah. means confusion. Confusion. You got a lot of people confused right now. Of what's going on and have not a clue of what's really going on. Because they have a lot of distractions out there. They, they just can't. They just um finish with the the um Oscars. Now the, the latest distraction is the All Star Game is coming up. The All Star Game with the NBA. Now the latest distraction is Roger Stone being sentenced to seven to nine years, and that's a controversy because Donald Trump, you know, tweeted out that that's a hard sentence. So now you got different different um judges pulling back saying that they shouldn't give him a hard sentence like that so that's the new controversy see it's so always stands up something to keep you distracted of, of the main issues of what's really going on man and the main issue is that coronavirus is out there deadly man that's just, that's a that's a deadly strain and it's out there heavy more so than what the elites and what the people on on the um news is telling us man you got more than you got there um, yeah, I could, I could read on. It says, uh, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, <laughs> and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then they shall, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. How are the powers of heaven going to be shaken? Through thermonuclear destruction, man, when the Most High Yahweh put the spirit on these nations to form that assembly of great nations to come up against um, the American counterpart of Esau and them gutter rats that call themselves Israelis over there. That's how the powers of heaven, which is a rulership, heaven means rulership, the powers of heaven, the powers of this rulership are going to be shaken through thermonuclear destruction. Go to um, Isaiah, the 24th chapter, when it says that. This the earth is gonna roll to and fro like a drunkard. Yeah. I can say something too on that. Um, you're gonna have these elites, cause the scriptures say, um, when they go, when they go down, they're not gonna repent for for the evil which they have done upon the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, they're gonna be hiding from Yahweh Shimei Shai when when Yahweh Shai return. They're gonna be hiding in the mountains and, and you know under the earth in these bunkers, you know in the uh, space stations. 
all right? But the Most High said what? That that um his hand shall take them, you know? And they're going to go into captivity. That's right. That's so right. Um, we in the game, said the promise heaven should be shaken. We in the game? Huh. It said, um, sloppy. It said, um, men's hearts failing them for fear. That's them heart attacks coming upon men. Strong men that's in the military. Oh shit! What the hell? They hear, they hear, they gonna hear the report. This is not a test, you know. Whatever how Esau is gonna broadcast it, you know. Then it's gonna be, it's gonna be so called UFO sighting, which is chariot sightings, and these um, these um, these um, so called mighty men of Esau within the military, and not only that. These different kings and rulers throughout the four corners of the earth that's puppets to the intellectual bankers, they're going to be catching heart attacks. And they're also they peons, you know? Mm -hmm. And also J2, you know what I mean? J2 by Israel, from Judah on down to Issachar, that's indulging themselves and aligning themselves with Esau, that's giving it to the society. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken for the powers of heaven shall be shaken for the for the powers of esau's rulership shall be shaken which is done by dominical destruction also read mm -hmm. it says and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory and at the same time the missiles being shot off you have a shot with the holy angels going to crack them skies and bring death, more death, more destruction, and deliverance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, they 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 are mixing this uh ID twenty twenty thing with the um coronavirus. Yeah. All right, because that's going that's going to lead into the issuing of the mark of the beast. All right, all of it, you know, not just the coronavirus, the the, the economy collapse. It's all it's all coming at the same time because they want to the the uh the, the so called Illuminati. They have they have a time period to 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 uh establish that that agenda that they want to do that new world order well they they well as far as that time period i mean it's like the skies are limited to them because they know that now they in a rush to establish it because they know their time is short but this was something that i was playing over 20 years ago when this when this that's why it's called the new world when they came over to the new world they brought a new order over with them too how they going to establish this their kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that's how it's called the New World Order. The New World, which is the miracle and the order that, that's going to come forth from from, from their, their campaign, that, from their military campaigns, man. Right? So they, so now they know that that the order of prophecies. And when you look at this right here on the overall aspect, when the Most High yeah. sent to destroy a nation, he sends his prophets to warn his people. So now we see. So now Esau is seeing men. Men that's out there prophesizing against this kingdom, and Esau is getting scared. So now what he's doing is trying to speed up his enterprise, man, to try to get it established. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what they're doing, man. Yeah, bro. Um, it says, uh, it's like here. Yeah. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your, for your redemption draw up now. Hey, man, because right now, man, hey, man, we see a lot of, it's a lot of Chavez sightings, you know, we see, we hearing of wars and wars of wars, we hearing of, of pestilence, we seen pestilence, you know, we hearing of earthquakes, you know, in diverse places, up wars of people, infrastructure being damaged, you know, or, 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 you know, or the world, under, this the this society which is um corrosion all these things is coming to pass so it's letting us know that we're at the end of esau's rulership and he knows and he knows as well that's when revelation 12 and 12 come into effect man and that's why he's unleashing all these pestilences such as the coronavirus such as sars um um they had a new one too i forgot the name yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, not only that mission of africa right we have the pestilence of locusts. Yeah. That's that's damn near engulfed the whole country, but now it's it's evidence and also it's it's speaking it's, it's um it's um evidence that that pestilence done traveled to India, Pakistan, the locusts, man, and those are plagues from the Most High. Ancient plagues and new plagues the Most High is going to spring up, man. 
But that's an ancient plant. Locusts, man. You know? You got more? That's it. Okay, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Chapter 24, verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in in the winter. You gotta this like you, you gotta go back, man. You gotta go to like um go to the fifth chapter. The fifth verse, like a fifth verse. Can I read one of the twenty twelve? Matthew twenty four verse five. You wanna read that? I was gonna read twenty like the point within on the twenty two. Alright, so bring it out first, then we're gonna go. Come on. Verse twenty one For then shall be great tribulation such, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Hey, hey, hey and we wanna see that, man. And that's gonna be that tribulation is gonna be marked as Jacob's trouble. And how and how the world will start through this coronavirus because they're gonna start they're gonna begin with if this coronavirus continue to spread they're gonna come over the solution of mass vaccinations man and quarantines and a lot of people want to buck up against that. I know I'm not gonna you know I've never been listen I've never been vaccinated. All right, the last time I've been vaccinated I was a little kid I had no control over that. When I was like four or five years old. And that was when they wasn't putting that all kind of, you know, I mean, they had bad vaccinations there, but they wasn't putting vaccinations where you gonna become a, a um uh, uh what you call it, um autistic, yeah, autistic or yeah, autistic. autistic. And you now first you, you you were normal, now you yeah. drooling, now you can't even talk. You know? Yeah, it's not it wasn't as worse. It wasn't yeah. as worse it was back in the seventies and the eight early eighties, it is right now, man. Cause now Esau is up in the ante, up now. Cause now he's the devil. Cause you know this time is this time is short. Me, bro. Can for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. Hey, Amen. I mean, the, this great tribulation is gonna surpass the Babylonian captivity, 70 A.D. The Flavian dynasty. What happened then? What's going to the, the the this tribulation is going to surpass the the um. The pain and anguish that Jake suffered during the time of the Renaissance, we in this, and we in that Renaissance period when Esau, with hardcore slavery, when Esau had Jake in hardcore slavery, all of them, all that's still gonna be nothing compared to what's going to come, what's going to come to pass during the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, because it's not gonna be a cakewalk, man. It's gonna surpass all the all the calamity that Jake ever went through, man. We. To this time, no, no, ever shall be. And it's never going to be like that, uh, uh, that way again. Because why? Esau is going to be taken out of his rulership. And it's going to be a new rulership, man. And the apostle, Gabal put up, you know, he's really, he, he, he was doing, I forgot the name of the show. But he mentioned aristocrats, which means fit to rule. Best rule. Best rule. Best to rule. So I was saying to myself, damn, the aristocrats. Israel slash the aristocrats. And I started, you know, I was driving, I was like, yeah, that sounds good, man. You know, best to rule. Because the most high is gonna put those that's best to rule in the position of power, man. Which is gonna be the Israelites, man. You know? Elect. The elect of Israel. You know? That's it. Straight to the point. Con, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Yeah, what? because Esau is a damn mad scientist, all right? Because he's creating all kinds of concoctions. He's studying people's DNA. He's drawing blood from people. He's taking all types of, he's doing all types of witchcraft, all right, to go inside your DNA and go inside, you know, your mind and your body. He, you know, he has a black market on damn organs for crying out loud, you know? Yeah, he's, doing, he's doing brain transplants. He's doing... Lung transplants, heart transplants. All right, he's giving he's giving people all kinds of drugs and pharmaceuticals, man. Hey, real quick, bro. Messing up, messing up everything, man. Real quick, me and his brother, me and his brother here was watching before his brothers came. We could, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't stomach it. And I was, I couldn't stomach it. I was like, I can't watch this, man. Even though I, I could have, but I didn't want to watch it. Babies. It said in China they was making baby soup. Baby feed is super. They were showing the extraction of babies being aborted. Right on, bro. I mean, babies, bro. Yeah, I mean, what Gooks do in China is they don't. They only allow you to have like one, one, yeah. one son or something like that. Yeah, yeah but what they was doing, yeah, but yo, but it's, it's a, a you know, one yeah. child policy. Yeah, it's a one child policy. But what so, they, you know, was, yeah, what they was doing, bro, they was, yeah, they was, 
they was taking babies. It's not this only the goops. It's like a, like a. It's like a regular thing. A large thing, man, like a like oh, an international you, thing. Oh, but but, but, but and all that? it was talking about the goops making baby fetus soup, and it was showing babies being aborted. Check this out. You know Pepsi. Yeah, I know put, baby fetus put, tissue as a sweetness. <laughs> As it's, no, it's baby fetus tissue. Baby they fetus use it as, as fucking sweetener, bro, and Pepsi. Yeah, so does Coca Cola, man. Yeah, so don't yeah, drink Pepsi. Man. I don't drink none of that shit. Don't drink that shit. I don't even drink soda. I was also yeah. reading the article last night. Basically, we had this goop that came to the states with a bag of dead yeah, birds, birds, right? Dead birds, birds, yeah. Cases, and right? I looked, yeah, and I looked it up. And usually, what they would do is they would feed dead baby birds to their pets. God damn. So that's what these gooks do. They they're filthy, man. They, you know, they, they, it's, it's, it's all kind of videos surfacing on on how these on how these Moabites, with the, they was eating live baby live mice. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> and putting it in and in their sauce while it was alive, yeah. and they was dipping oh, it in it, and that's they was speaking <clears throat> they they Mongombo language, and they was putting it, they was eating their shit like boom boom busting it down, man, uh, dipping it in their sauce. God. The fucking mouse is squirming and shit. Pink little baby mouse squirm squirming. Man. He just dip it in there and bit the hell up and was laughing. You know what I mean? Oh. They even um um trying to um because you, you know how America's always in people's business. They trying to they trying to start a petition. I believe the article said it was somewhere over in South Korea for them to stop boiling um the animals because they, they they're known for eating animals too. So I guess they're trying to start a petition to stop Whoa. like boiling the animals to like um eat them. But there's certain animals that's lawful to eat. The dog, dogs or dog, dogs, dogs, but, dogs, yeah, dogs. Yeah, I've seen, bro. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen YouTube clips, right, where, where Butchery they got, the, yeah, they shit. butchering dogs, they yeah. deep frying dogs, man, yeah. and that's like a, that's like a, that's like a normal thing. It's like chicken stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. Yo, he, 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 that's why. And, and, and the, before you do the, the precept, you had, you had a more bite chick. And her sword. Oh, yeah, she was kind of yeah, yeah, with the sewer thing, taking the grease out of the oh, sewer. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, also, yeah, yeah. but also, she was taking the grease out of the sewer. And these Chinese people out there in in Moabite land, which is China, they was the land of Moab. They was frying that shit up with chicken, dog meat, whatever they could eat, man. They eat a lot of bugged out shit, man. So, and then it, it, it was a video. Abominable, sick. Abominable, yeah, abominable shit. It was a video of this Moabite chick. She was young. I mean, she was fairly looking. She was fairly yeah. looking. She was. She's biting on a fucking. She was eating bat. Yeah. Yo. Shit, man. She was eating bat. <laughs> eating bat. Yeah, man. A fucking flying rodent. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a that's a that's a that's a foul um. That's a, you know um. Unclean, and you wanna that's an unclean and hateful bird, like the scriptures speak about. Exactly. About you know how the, this this place is gonna be made. A place for every awesome. foul and unclean and right, right. hateful bird. Well, a bat falls under that category because, believe it or not, you know a lot of in a lot of places in America, you got bat caves, man. Yeah. All right, and bats are very they're very uh you know monstrous type of uh, creatures. You know you don't you don't want a bat flying around you, man. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Mama Waldi out there. Most of Mama Waldi. <laughs> well, going back to the black look. <laughs> <It was like, laughs> instead of being folklore about it, being real about it, like you don't. If you see a bat, you don't. You don't want to be nowhere near that thing. All right. Well, bats are bats oh, are that's oh, unclean man. creatures, man. They're you know, unclean and hateful. Even though birds. most bats eat only fruit. Imagine getting imagine, yeah, but imagine getting bit by something like that's, that. They they ravenous. It was a movie called Cujo. Cool Back in the back in the early eighties, it was a Stephen King movie called Cujo. It was a pit bull, or a pit bull. He was he stuck his head into a a hole, right? And trying to eat, trying to go for a, 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 I'm saying a fucking um, because pit bulls like to chase rats. So a rat ran into a hole, and he got and then Cujo he got bit in the face by by a fucking bat, and he became rabid. He started killing people. This movie called Cujo. Better than precept. One. This is uh, Proverbs 12 and 10. Who the hell would eat that shit, man? Uh, uh, a Moabite. <laughs> Proverbs 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. You got a cat, you got a dog, they consider beasts, man. You're going to regard their life. You're going to take care of them. You're not going to You're not gonna cut them. Lay down with them. You're not going to lay down with them. Right. You're not going to... You're not gonna um, abuse them. Abuse them. You're not mistreat gonna mistreat them. Mistreat. You're not gonna gut them. No. You're not gonna cut them, gut them, 
and then put them on the freaking seat, you know, take a spare of them and, and, and eat them, you're going to regard the life of your beast. You're going to take care of them, man. Yeah, bro. It says, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. <laughs> but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Started with Esau. We know the rest of the nations, man. And then you go to Psalm, the 83rd chapter, it speaks about the wicked. Esau is the wicked, but these other nations, man, they follow too. Yeah, they're wicked, they're wicked they wicked too. They wicked too, bro. man. They heathens too, man. They eat all kind of bugged out shit. Ishmael. Wait, bro, one of the most one of the most wicked kingdoms on this earth in the ancient world was what? Sodom and Gomorrah. Those oh. are damn Hamites. Those That's are right. Canaanites. You know? So yeah, these other nations are wicked as hell too. And then you got and then you got Ishmael. They don't like to wash. Then you look at their teeth, they got green teeth, yellow teeth. I mean, dark green stains on their teeth, brown, you know? And the nigga woman lay with them, you know? But we see, and then you smell, you go in the, you, know, you went to an Arab store, man, <coughs> to get a, a, a water or something, you smell nothing but fucking body odor and funk. Yeah. You be like, what the? Out of, all, out of all of the oils and riches these damn Arabs got. And then guess what? <laughs> and then you go into the store, right? Yeah. It's smelling foul in that shit. Who you seeing there? The nigga woman. The nigga woman. Hey. Hey, I, come here. Can I talk to you for a minute? Aki. Come here. Come here, come Aki. At you. But guess what? They, yo, you know the crazy <laughs> shit. I've seen it. Yo, I'm, yo, this is, yo, this is true. This is a true story. Oh, I've seen this. Oh, I used to work on 120 oh, Fish Street, right? <laughs> now, this bitch is arguing with her man in this. Now, now I, you know, I work in that neighborhood. This bitch arguing with her man, bro. She's arguing with her man. She goes to the A-Rap store. Hey, Aki, how you doing? <laughs> you know, outside, she's calling this nigga all kind of pieces of shit. Dissing this nigga. Uh, Jake, uh, they arguing. Shit. I'm in the store buying me a goddamn um, 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 vitamin water. She coming in. Oh. Hey, Aki, her whole continence, her whole attitude, all that, that, that demonic shit she had on her, cursing out her boyfriend or her husband, whoever the fuck he was. Change when she went in that store, a new she store was on her. She Hi, Aki, how you doing? Can I get a soda? She went behind the counter and hugged him and everything. Took out a pack of cigarettes, you know. I got you, Aki. Started beating this shit on the counter. You know how they do that? She's not beating this shit, opening this shit up. <laughs> nigga ain't even. She ain't get no. She ain't get a nigga no fucking money, man. No, that is about to get no money from her. You know what I'm saying, yo, I seen this nigga. Yo, this is my world, man. This nigga was grabbing. Yo, her husband is outside, you know. Pissed off, right? She goes behind the counter to get a fucking pack of cigarettes, Newports, and this nigga grabbing up and shit. No shit, yo, chill, stop, stop, chill, my man out there. Yo, I seen that shit, I was like, yo. Please, sir. Yo. Go ahead, bring it out, bruh. Khan, this is the book of Deuteronomy. Yo. Chap <laughs> it's like, yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 2. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. That's Moab. Hold on. Let him read. Let him read. Come. Come verse 3. Don't I, jump the gun, bro. <laughs> <Shit. Lock it. laughs> verse 3. <laughs> An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. There you go. Now go ahead, you. E e hey, that's the finish, finish it up. That's Come. some snake. Nasty, slanty-eyed Moabites, man. Cockeyed people. It's an Ammon, too, bro. You can't... Bro. And also them Ammon. Yeah. The so-called yeah. Japanese. They are... This is wicked and this is foul and nasty. Disgusting. They're brothers, bro. Of course they're brothers. They're brothers. Bro. Moab and Ammon are brothers. Hell Moab is the elder brother. Lot is the... Uh, Lot. No, they're incest uh, babies. And, and Ammon is the younger brother. They're not hillbilly brothers. They're incest babies. <laughs> incest brothers. Yeah, but that's the way... We got to be careful, too, because that's the way the Most High set it up, too. Good. You know what I'm saying? The way the most the most high set up that whole ordeal between lying the daughters, the most high set that whole thing up. So we gotta kinda of be careful how we talk about that too. Yeah, Khan, Khan. Go ahead. You right. Khan, an Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. Which is true. I mean they they do have Something that has been proven scientifically to be called, be called mongoloidism, which is pretty much a nice way of saying Down syndrome. But nonetheless, they are a nation of people that the Most High allowed to come out of a righteous man, which obviously in the spirit, Lot wasn't reincarnated through Moab or Ammon, but he was a righteous man. All right, The Most High delivered this man out of them 
wicked ass cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. So we have to take that into account and understand that too. Lot is an Israelite. Lot is definitely an Israelite. All right, a, a bar none. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 16, and I'll jump to 43. It says, the calamity of Moab is near to come. That's right, you damn chinks, man. All right? Because you're proud as hell, and you, you are disgusting people, man. All right? Totally disgusting. You are a very, you are very vile people, and your how about Shemiel Shai is going to put you in your right place, and it ain't a rulership. It's in slavery, you're where you belong. They eat anything? Yeah, along with your damn, along with your younger brothers and sisters over there in uh, Ammon land, you know, Japan. They all, y'all all going into slavery, man. You're going into slavery under your Shai and 144,000. That's right. And you're going to be, you're going to be living, you're going to be forced to be living and doing right. That's right. All right? Forever. Otherwise, there's going to be no rain and you're going to get jacked up perpetually. That's right. All right? That's the judgment for you, you heathens. Not only you Ammonites and Moabites, but you Hamites, you Japhites, you Ishmaelites, you Ishmaelites. Yeah, right. You know All right, you <laughs> Edom, forget about it. He, he said Elam. He said oh, Elam. so like he said Elam. Elam, that's right, Elam. <laughs> right? Yeah, the 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 curry, the curry, the curry eaters, man. <laughs> The curry is good for you, man. But, curry good, but, but they don't wash their ass, man. So you, you got the curry smell coming off them. Where, all right, die heads. That's what I mean to say, die heads. But die anyhow, heads. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> trying to be PC, but you know, you got to, you, 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 you heathens, you, you got to go into slavery, man. Yeah, man. Go ahead. It says the calamity of Moab is near to come, and as affliction, haste it fast. Yeah, because guess what? All right, all of this vaunting you're doing. All of your leaping, all right, for, the, for the, the rulership position on the earth is in vain. That's right. It's in vain because you are not destined to be the new rulers on the planet earth. You are not fit to rule. You damn sure ain't fit to rule, all right? Here it is. You can't even get your own. You can't even eat the right thing. You can't even diet properly. You can't even, you can't even eat the right foods. Eating bad. All right, eating bats and cats and dogs and snakes and, um, and stingrays and eels and you name it, a, a mobite eats it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Verse twenty-nine. Damn. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> name it, a mobite eats it. Disgusting. Man. It says we have heard. Verse twenty. Now we have heard the pride of Moab. Yeah, you proud. He is exceedingly proud. That's right. His loftiness and his arrogancy and his pride. And the hotness of his heart. Yeah, let's go. Let's go into a quick, a quick little uh, synopsis of history dealing with our people, Israel. One of the main adversaries that rose up against Israel was Balak. That's right. And Balak was a what? A Moabite king. That's right. And, and I'm gonna get to it, brother. Hold on. Let me jump the gun. You got it. As soon as they don't interrupt the man in the speech. You ain't. You ain't getting slacky, bro. Come. Balak set up Balaam. To curse Israel. That's right. All right? <laughs> and what happened was the Most High reversed that curse and put it on them. Because Israel was not meant to be cursed, but blessed. You know? And then you had Misha. All right? Misha, where we get the, uh, the, the Moabite stone. All right? Which they knew the name of the Heavenly Father, but they were a bunch of what? Idolaters. That's what the nations are inherently. The nations... Moab, Ammon, you name them. Ham, they're all, they're all, they all uh, cling to idols. All right, idol worship is the nation's uh, bread and butter. All right, Ammon and Moab, they worship uh, uh, Molech and Chemosh. The, the, you know, the, the accounts in the scriptures name exactly the, the, the idols of the other nation. That's right. You know, Baal and all of them, all of these heathens, that are against us, that's their bread and butter. All right? Their bread and butter is idols. And we know what the scripture say about idols. Read. Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations. If you don't know idols. who Ham is by now, you, know. you need you need a Bible dictionary and <laughs> you could be able to tell you could be able to know for yourself. We ain't gonna sit here, all right, and tell you who Ham is in this time of the game. Go ahead. Look it up. Look it up. It says uh Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods of the nations are idols, okay? Ammon, Moab, all right? Ham, Ishmael, 
Japheth, Edom, you name it. Elam, Edom, you name any nation on this planet Earth, they worshiping idols. They're not worshiping the Most High and His Son. Hell, even this time now, Israelites themselves are not worshiping the Most High and His Son. You got more Muslim, so-called African Americans, than you have actual, uh, uh, you know, Hebrew Israelites. But see, that's the thing. The Most High don't deal with large numbers. All right, but just point, painting a picture that these other nations, that's who they're, that's who they really are clinging to. They're, they're clinging to witchcraft. They're clinging to idols, and that's why they're going. That's why their fate is sealed already. Go ahead. That was it. I got another one now. It's nothing more here too. When you finish. Go ahead. Uh, finishing off in Jeremiah 48, verse 42 and 43, it says, "A Moab shall be destroyed from being a people." Damn. The Most High said, "You're gonna be destroyed for being a people, man." I mean, you're just going to be totally broken down. You ain't going to have no standard military. All right? You're not going to have your 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 Buddha, your Buddha monk temples. Your fat Buddha. The, your Eglon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's another, that's another mon uh, monumental heathen. Yeah. Fuck a fat bastard. <laughs> Eglon was a fat nasty. <laughs> Pretty much that's Buddha. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much Eglon is Buddha, man. Exactly. Yeah. You know? I gotta, yeah. You're not gonna have a standing army. You're not gonna have your Buddha monk temples. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna be able to fool the world with your fake uh, kung fu flicks, which you stole from us. That's right. Because we're the original warriors. We're the original martial artists. We're the original. All right. Everything. Jacob is the form of all things. You heathens. You gooks. You stole all that kung fu and all that martial arts stuff from us. Yeah. David's money, man. Abraham. Yeah, you stole that from our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You stole that from Israelites. That's not your your heritage. You see, every time you think about a gook nowadays, you think about a Shaolin monk in a temple. And then the, that's and, not their heritage, man. And you know, the, the average the average Jake, when they see a Chinese, they think he know karate. Yeah, they think he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't fuck with them Chinese. Yeah, they yeah. gonna fuck you up. Get the fuck out. Beat the shit out of that motherfucker. I'll beat them. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking about, man? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta set it. We gotta set it off on you heathens, man, because yeah, you man. heathens are pieces of garbage, man. Right. It says, crazy, and Moab shall be destroyed from being a people, us. because he yeah, had... you know. And another thing about you, 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 you goops, man, you have a mind to be a slave, you know. God. You know that's why a lot of you are good at, you know, that dumb, that, that math. That's good. That's actually a good thing. But it says more I should be my watch. That's a good thing that, hey, y'all y'all keep making them origamis. Y'all keep doing that calculus and all of that sophisticated math and all of that. That's good. Because we're gonna we gonna use you to build very lavish, very lavish cal uh castles and palaces. Yeah. All right, and all kinds of luxurious things. Oh my God. That's that's gonna be because a lot of you you heathens that have those talents, you have that for Israel. That's right. You had that to serve us. That's right. You, right. right? you see, because you, I've seen surf videos in the past where they be getting down, they be doing all kinds of you know stuff and cooking and stuff and yeah, doing yeah. all kinds of stuff. That's for us. Yeah. That's for you, so you can entertain us and be our slaves. That's not so you can just roam freely and be proud about. The Most High said, "Ask of me, I will give the heathen for thine inheritance." Yeah. Right. That's right. It says, because he had magnified himself against Yahweh. See. God. Fear, last verse, fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon thee, O inhabitant of Moab. That's right. You know, if you like the brother from tribe said, you're going to put in that work. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to put that work in, man. They're going right. to put that work you're in. You're going to be right, putting bro. that work. You're going to be laying them bricks. You're going to be doing it all. <clears throat> Cooking our food. Yeah, you're going to be doing it all, damn it. Bro, bro, actually, we're 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 need, sorry, we need sorry, servants. Uh, 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 a royal people, all right, kings. Kings need serfs. The Lord says he's going to make us a what? A nation of kings and priests. Mm -hmm. So we need right. serfs. We're going to need that. Last nice verse. He that fleeth from the fear shall fall into the pit, and mm -hmm. he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, say if you have. Oh, and, the, and, and once in, and, and not to mention... The coronavirus is said and rumored 
to originate from right there in China. In Wuhan. In Wuhan, China. <laughs> Wuhan, <red and mother. laughs> So the Most High is he's showing his 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 true feelings towards you, gooks. Hey, real quick, it shows you that in the movie Contagion. What happened? The dude, the um, the cook, bat droppings dropped on the fucking food, and then the gook cook got. Contaminated by, mm. and then he touched another woman, then it spread. Boom, boom, oh, boom, shit. boom. Watch the movie Contagion. Watch bro. that shit again. Yeah. Watch the movie Contagion, and it, it started in China. And look at this, yeah. movie, look at this coronavirus. Where it started at? Yeah. China. Yo, he saw me putting shit in his movies, man, and it goes over the people's head because it's, it's, it's like yeah, entertainment, it's cool, yeah. but it's also predictive programming. Predictive it's program. also um, how they communicate with each other. Yeah, yeah bro. I just wanted to add. Um, you got these gooks out here in America with their Chinese restaurant. Right? You got, they, they losing a lot of money, man, because Jake ain't, Jake yeah, ain't yeah. with it. That's right. Jake cared <laughs> about the uh, coronavirus. <laughs> you asked one nigga on the train, he attacked Chinese people. He's like, disease having bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to lie. I think I seen a, uh, a, a Moabite chick damn near break down and have a nervous breakdown on the train and start bawling out of tears. She tried to hold, hold it down, but... I read her spirit. I was like, yeah, this bitch is ready to fucking lose it. And then you had another chick, a, a, a Jake chick, trying <laughs> to beat this shit out of another more about chick. She had a mask on. She was like, you the Z-written bitch. He started beating the shit out of the bitch, bro. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck. I said, like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Hey, man. And the bitch got away, bro. She got the train scot free when the door went Doo-doo! Yo, the, the door tried to close, right? I just see this, see this regular for the bitch, bro. Doo-doo! She stopped the door and got the shit. The shit closed again. It's not a moving. The bitch is going on the train off. Bro. Hey, where was that Kung Fu at, bro? Yo, where, where, where was Mulan? Yo, the oh, bitch was shit. Yo, she started hitting the bitch with fucking Mulan. haymakers. The bitch was in the seat. The bitch hit with haymakers, kneeing the bitch in the face. Oh, that do the bitch like a do the bitch on the floor, stomped out. You the mean train. To tell me she didn't know that Shaolin monk. Too? She was helping. She was she was screaming for help. And people on the train when it's looking like an all like, oh, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And the bitch was like, you fucking disease ridden bitch, take that mask off. Pat, pat, pat. You know what I'm saying? I kill you, bitch. You know what I mean? Hey, and the bitch got off the train and shit. And that shit was like, yo, she got away. But guess what? The next day I saw the news, they had images of her, but it was blared out. Oh, like, okay. and she, you couldn't really see because the image is like, you know, the camera's not really well, fucking hey, brother, right. The most I, said, high... I said, yo, the most high bled the image. I said, that bitch can get away, man. Hey, the most high is bringing <laughs> what he said. He's bringing. He said, he's, he's, in the news, yeah, yeah, yeah. I come to set uh, them at division. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is bringing division because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody, hey, Esau got the world on his fake tip of unity and love, but that shit ain't, that ain't real. That's, that's just a projection that Esau is putting out there. Yeah. It ain't love. It ain't really love. Nobody, hey, the scriptures say that. The love that means the West Coast. Water. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. And, um, also, um, you got a little more. Uh, this, one of the brothers put a uh, uh, pitch up in the chat. Uh, it was like a note on the um, door of a Chinese restaurant. It says, Dear customers, everyone working here have not left the US, United States past two years. <laughs> so that's a disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Yeah, we don't eat, got, we you don't can eat here. You can eat. You know what I'm saying? They lose a lot of business, bro. Well, good. Hey, hey, cooking, cooking all that garbage. Go to the stock market. Watch their stocks, man. A lot of people that was uh, mobile businesses in the United States, they lose a lot of money because they restaurants. Go to these restaurants. A lot of mobile restaurants in Midtown. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't eating anymore. I remember, I, I remember before I got my ride, I was going to Delaware, and I was getting a Chinese bus, right? Yo, the Chinese bus is going out of business, bro. Nobody is getting on that shit no more, bro. And that shit is dirt cheap, bro. Yeah. For yeah. him to Delaware, right, it's $30. What do you say? Round trip, $30, yeah, bro. Not, not, yeah, go ahead. Damn, it's like it, it's from him to Delaware, right? Yeah. From New York City to Delaware, it's $30, $35 round trip, bro. That reminds me. And not for nothing, you know, like heavy populated places out here in New York City, like Flushing, Queens. They feeling, uh, they feeling. That's like, that's like a whole nother Chinatown. Hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I know just, because I used to be out there, and that's like Moab and really Moab land, like out there in Queens. They got a um show on Netflix, uh, with this goop chick. I think his name is Nola or some shit. And you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, they 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 show what you was talking about about the Chinese budget, how they go everywhere. But now it's they losing business, so wonder how that's gonna fare for them. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can go from, check it out, this is crazy. From New York City to Florida, $50 round trip on a goddamn mobile bus, bro. On a Chinese bus, 
Fifty dollars round trip, twenty five dollars one way. Fifty dollars round trip from from New York City to Florida. That's fucking three days mm-hmm. traveling on a bus. You driving in a car? I did it before from New York City to Fort Lauderdale. It took me twenty seven hours. And the reason why it took me twenty seven hours, I stopped in a hotel. Mm-hmm. I could have got there twenty four. I could have got there less than next. I had to drive. You know, when you open up on the highway, bro. That was long That's a long month. <laughs> You're tired. And yo, listen. I 95 South, yo, bro, it's not a lot straight of turns, shot. bro. It's a yo, that shit is straight, bro. Yeah. That shit is a straight fucking well, yo, you can look, open up, bro. Well, look, let's bring it back to the point. We talking about Moab, we talking about their businesses, we're talking about how they were flourishing, and now, because of <laughs> things like this, the coronavirus, the most high is cutting this shit down. And that's what? That's hurting the economy, that's hurting business, all right? That's hurting the flow of, 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 of uh, you know, goods and stuff. So, hey, the Most High is is, is, is bringing this thing, you know, piecemeal. And then it's going to just totally collapse, all right? <laughs> you go by these mobile um, Chinese these Chinese stores, man, you don't see a lot of Jake in them stores anymore. Them shit is, like, empty, man. You see a few Jake's in there. You know that you know that they hey man I'm gonna eat some chicken man some I'm gonna get me some fucking um general so general so rat since general so rat I'm gonna get some um what you call that some um the, some spread rib tips and shit oh yeah. all rib tips rib tips <laughs> I'm gonna get me some rib tips yeah, yeah pork fried rice two or five two or five go ahead yeah. what we we'll reading where we at where we'll we we'll come on let's go <clears throat> this is numbers numbers fourteen and twelve I will smite them with the pestilence Ooh. and disinherit them and will make of thee a greater nation and mightier than they. Yeah. What's good? Don't worry about it, brother. Shalom, Lord, what did I see you Saturday? I see you Saturday at the camp, but then Sunday in the gym. 1086, baby. Shalom. Let's read that again. This is numbers 14 and 12. I I will smite them with the pestilence. I will smite them with the pestilence. Hey, it's not coronavirus or pestilence. Uh-huh. All right. Apostle Tahar brought out that it was 400 million on Saturday. <coughs> and there's no telling if those numbers are even accurate. Yep. There might be more. Right? There might be more, might be less. Most high knows. But nonetheless, it's doing some damage. Come on. And disinherit them. And will make of thee a greater nation and mightier than they. It's talking about Israel. Right? Yeah, it is talking about Israel. Go ahead. Keep going. Nah, I, mean, I mean, yeah, that's dealing with Israel, but nonetheless, prophecy and pestilences. That's right. Yeah, Go ahead. This is, you done that? Yeah. Uh, this is um, Second Ezra chapter 15, hmm. verse 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, Death and destruction. What has been going on ever since 2020 came in? Hmm. This has been ever since the, the so-called New Year came in, man. All right? And it's only going to increase. Wait till the summertime. What's, I can imagine what's going to happen in the summer and then in the fall. When when Donald Trump, in my estimation, is going to be re-elected, it's going to be all kind of riots out here, man. They don't want Donald Trump in the office, man. I mean, he's he's still in there, brother. Yeah, he might be reelected again. He's still again, in there, and for what it's worth, he can he can he can he can he can set this shit off to where America is going to go into third world's war, and the prophecy of a, it being burned be fulfilled for for all you know for our care. Because we become the dictators. Hey, man, this this place, America, is a bloody city, all right, and the Most High prepared it unto blood. That's right. Go ahead. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, it's not like Donald Trump is trying to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Donald Trump is a proud billionaire devil. That's right. That's doing the bidding of the international bankers. He's only doing the bidding of the international bankers, and he only want to amass more riches and more control. All right? That's all that's on Donald Trump's mind. All right? To become more, more powerful. All right, you can see the pride oozing off him. Once he, of he was already a proud devil. Yeah, he, you think Donald Trump don't want no more power? You think, you think Donald Trump just wants to be, uh, just another known as another uh, president. president of the United States? No, he wants to be that guy. Trump wants to be that president that 
nobody will ever forget. Right. That's edged in stone. He said that too. Yeah, well, that's the spirit. I didn't even hear him say that. But he said, I want to make a legacy. See that? Well, there's that's East. He, is he not truthfully an Edomite? That's the that's the sentiment. That's the attitude of Esau, man. All right? And he's going to do what he's going to do. All right? By will of the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Shai. Because in Revelation 17, I believe 19 says he put in their hearts to do his will, fulfill his will. Yeah. And that's yeah. dealing with NATO and the EU yeah. and all of these different uh, countries. Go ahead. Real quick, real quick. I tell you that in the book of Ezra, I'm saying, second Ezra, when Uriel was saying that he was stood yeah. for the because the, the, the um the prince of Persia was withheld him because he was because back then the men yeah they was working on his mind. their mind was much stronger than the, 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 the people minds of these Edomites now so the men back then their minds was much stronger so Uriel was working on the prince of the, um the king of Persia's mind to do his will I don't he, think it was Uriel I think it was Yahweh Shai yeah yeah, yeah um, it could have yeah, been Yahweh Shai yeah. Slaki you got it because Uriel is in the second Ezra's. That's, that's the second message. He, that's what he said. He said, I will, okay. he said, I will uh, still. Uh, he I'm said, thinking I, about Daniel for some reason. I don't know why. He said, yeah. I will, he, he told, um, so I could, yeah, nah. he told, um, you, um, um, second message. He said, I will yeah, the king, yeah. but, um, the, the kingdom said, uh, the person will stood me. Okay, yeah, because so, uh, 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 yeah, 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 so yeah. This uh, is, are you still ready? Yeah, you got it, bro. This is, uh, Psalms 91 and 3. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the foul of the fowler, the fowler, 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 fowler yeah. and from the noisome pestilence, yeah, that, and which the is the nuclear yeah. missile game. You got it. Yeah, the, yeah, the fowler yeah. is a um a bird hunter, and that's Esau, because Esau that's one of his characteristics, right? He's yeah, a, a He likes to um hunt hunt that's wild animals, animals, man. Right? Right? The scriptures say uh, Esau is a um, he's a cunning hunter, yeah, man. Right? And who you see, who you see out there hunting these wild creatures, man? All right, that's that's Esau, man. Okay, and he said, um, what, what else is there? Okay, okay. Surely you will deliver the. Yo, hold real quick. I gotta, I gotta make a statement. I stand corrected, but we'll read that real quick. Yeah, you talked about, you know, I said it was in Second Ezra, but I wasn't. It wasn't in Second Ezra. Daniel chapter ten and twelve. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy power, thy words were heard. Then you stood, then you, then you stood to understand the prophecies, you know, and the chastening. How he chastened himself by eating the flowers that we did, the, the, you know, eating the pulse, the pulse, and and praying and fasting, and he that's how he chastened himself to understand these these prophecies. But read, it says, and to chasten thyself before the Most High. Thy power, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Right. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me uh -huh. one in twenty days. That's yeah, that was Yahweh Shai. That was Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai was supping with with um Daniel uh -huh. to open his mind to, to to give him these prophecies, to reveal him to reveal to him the secrets of the highest man, the prophecies. But he was working on the mind of the kings of the Persians, man. And 120 days. 120 days. Why? Because the because the king's mind. And men back in the ancient where their mind was much stronger than the feeble minds of the men today, you know? Said, so, yep. I stand corrected. I said it was second book of Ezra, and when Uriel was talking to um, um, Ezra, it was Yahweh Shah talking to Dan, Slaki. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one in twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. And that's deep, man. Yeah. See? That's deep. That's, that, 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 that lets you know that the Most High ruled from the kingdom of men, and the Most High also works on the mind of these these kings when they sleeping upon their bed, when they drooling, and also when they making their decisions, man. All decisions, and all and how the Most High works on their work on their mind is when they sleeping, man. You know, and so their instructions. But sometimes men that had strong minds, they was trying to resist the the will of the Most High. But you can't resist the will of the Most High, man. Who can resist the will of the Most High? No man. And that's why eventually, after 120 days, hey, the Most High's will was done. Yep. So, I, so I stand corrected. I just wanted to bring that, I just wanted to bring that out. So you can go back to that scripture right there. <clears throat> back in Psalms 91 and 3. Surely he will deliver right, thee from the snare of the fowler. The fowler. Of the fowler. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And from the noisome pestilence. Yeah, because Esau is the is the one that's bringing that pestilence. He he's the fowler. All right, and we're in his kingdom. All right, so his kingdom is gonna end through that noisome pestilence, which is the nuclear destruction, because Esau is the sword of the Lord. His blessing was the sword. All right, and he was given the knowledge by the Most High. That's why the scriptures say the Most High. The Most High is the one that created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire, but he gave it to Esau, all right? And Esau has advanced it to what we have today, all right? All these uh, new missiles being uh, created, man, through the arms race, man, which are eventually going to be um, used, man, all right? That's why the scriptures say these nations are going to spare no arrows, man. It's going to be a it's going to be a nuclear desolation, man, but the elect is going to be delivered from that. That's what, that's what Psalms 91 is about, man. The elect... Is, is 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 not gonna um like the scriptures say um the Lord shall deliver you in famine. I got it. All right. Oh, uh, see that's the spirit. Yeah, do five, right? You read it and read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, you got it, bro. Nah, nah, nah. This is this is Job chapter five. Quiet, stage, bro. Stage, bro. This is okay. book of Job chapter five, verse nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Yeah. Uh, seven it means uh completion. All right, so when um the, the the plagues come to a complete um you know in full effect, all right, when it's complete hell out here, all right, when it's gonna seem like you know there's no hope, the Most High is gonna deliver us, man, all right. And at that same time, you know Yahweh Shai, he's he's gonna be um he's gonna be appearing, making his appearance, all right, gathering his alight, all right, because the, the 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 final plague is what the nuclear destruction, man, all right. When when the missiles come to uh, America, which is Babylon the Great, all right, and America shoot back, man, on different different nations, man, all right. And we see all all the words that's written for for, for to come to pass in this time, all right. It's happening now, man. All right, we got e, the EU being uh, broken up, man. Great Britain, man. All right, they, you know they doing they doing um things outside of uh the U.S. jurisdiction, man. Real quick, they say you know? now Portugal, France, and Germany are gonna be the heads of of the EU because of the of the breaking out of the um of the um of Great Britain. At first it was Great Britain, France, and Germany. Now they're gonna put Portugal in the place of of Great Britain, and they're gonna be the heads mm -hmm. of the EU because they're gonna be because those are the the powerhouses. Portugal was not really a powerhouse, but they was holding their own. But now I guess Germany and, and France is going to fund Portugal to the point whereas they're gonna be up there with them because. The major powerhouses was Germany, France, and Great Britain, you know? Well, now Great Britain has exited, so now it's Portugal, France, and Germany. That's going to be the heads of, of, of um, the European Union, or the EU, yeah. or NATO. Gabriel, yeah, you got to slap it. Huh. No, that was a good point. You got it, brother. It says, verse 20, In famine he shall, he shall redeem thee from death, and in war... From the power of the sword. So the Lord is going to be with the elect, all right? You know, point blank period. Whether, you know, because there's going to be a famine out here in America, all right? The economy is going to collapse, all right? It's going to lead to famines, all right? You're going to have natural disasters, all right? You're going to have earthquakes. You're going to have, uh, you know, um, food shortages, okay? Crops being destroyed, crops not being grown. All right. That's why the scripture says it's going to be a, a lack of bread and great tribulation. OK. And what was that last part it said? It says, and in war from the power of the sword. Yeah. And, and we're not we're not in the time of peace. We're in the time of war. OK. We're, we're in the time of war. That's why you got um, over there in Syria right now. You got the um, these nations over there in Syria. They, they, they're in a big um, they're in a big battle. All right. You got uh, Turkey and. and uh, uh, Syria going at it, okay, and and and, and Turkey's uh, straggling the fence, man. All right, because on one hand they're doing business with Russia, but then they still got you know uh, ties with uh, NATO and the EU. They still part of NATO. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. But eventually, we know according to the uh, scriptures that um the Lord is going to break all of that up, man. All right, you going the scriptures say what that um the the uh the beast shall hate the whore. All right, so we we living in that time. Okay, and um, I had a, I had an article. Bring it out. We, we gonna we gonna we gonna start winding down after that. After this article, we gonna start winding it down. Bring this article out. Come. 
It says, uh, this is from RT News. It says, Russia and EU on path to cut out the dollar by boosting settlements and national currencies. Hmm. You know, so, um, you know, as we, as we, um, mentioned earlier, you got Great Britain, they leave in the EU. All right. And then you got Russia and the EU. They're, they're, um, they're cutting out the dollar, man. And they're coming together economically. You know? Uh, yeah. So here it is. You got Great Britain leaving the EU on the same hand. The EU is still, you know, doing their own thing, man. Dumping the dollar. That's right. So, so this place is finished, man. United States, the United States economy, man. The the the, the days of the, the United States and their, their, their and their um their world reserve currency being the top being the top uh currency is coming to an end. All right, and that's why we're seeing all these things happen, man. They trying to distract the people, man. With, with all this um, you know, with all these uh distractions. All right. You know the coronavirus and um. You know, uh, what are some more? Um, you know, bird flu. Yeah, the, you know, these different viruses. Swine flu, bird flu, yeah. SARS, coronavirus, um, mad cow disease, all kinds of disease that's been created. Right, right, that one H1, 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 you know, all the, you know, mad cow disease have a motherfucker shaking, shivering, all that crazy shit, man, you know. Mad cow disease, yeah, it's yeah. one disease. You know, you got the elections coming up, you know. So you got a lot of diversions out there. You got a lot of, you know. And what's new? Um, <laughs> no, I'm saying, what's new? Like, diversions has always been there. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's just what you are, you people out here are really putting your minds to, man. Now what? What the hell? I don't know, brother. Don't even entertain that. You know what I'm saying? I thought the same thing, but don't entertain it. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we weren't talking about nothing about no Kobe Bryant, bro. <laughs> Like, who gives, you know, like, we're not uh, talking man. about, we're talking about real life situations according to the prophecies of, of the Lord, man. All right? So, we see that the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shai is opening up and he's bringing things, the process has begun to where people are going to lose their damn minds out here and they're going to face miseries, they're going to face the judgment. All right, because your mind, a lot of you guys' minds, you Jake's minds, is not on what's important, man. You're right. And you're going to find yourself in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a jam, and you ain't going to be able to get out that jam because your head's been so jam far jammed up your ass, they're not really, really oh, understand. Ass. Yeah, whatever. All right, yeah, whatever. All right, don't matter. You're still, you're, you're, your head's still full of shit. All right? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what's going to get you messed up out here. But you know, the, the crazy thing is, right? Kobe Bryant's in the spirit world, so he's okay. He's not going to have to face the calamities of Jacob's trouble and everything that's going to come with that. You that put that up there is going to face that. If, your mind, if your mind ain't right. Yeah, you and apparently, ain't right, it's Nikki. No, bro, like I just said, bro, you, no, you, you got to do all of that, bro. Yeah, come. But you know, all hey, he's man, saying is, Get your head out of the bullshit and get your head right with with being was was what the Most High is doing. And these prophecies, all right? Because you know, it ain't nothing more important than being delivered up out of America when the shit goes down. All right, you ain't gonna be talking about no Kobe Bryant when the new when the nuclear missiles are coming. And get out of the spirit of this world and give it to the spirit of prophecy, because that's we in the spirit of prophecy. That's what's coming to pass. The prophecies, man. That's spoken about in the scriptures, man. So that's 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 what you have to focus on, man. All the other bullshit is my bullshit. Man. It's my it's bullshit and it have no relevance, man. We in the time of prophecy, man. Hey, that's why the most I put the spirit on the apostles to heart to coin this year, the spirit of prophecy, man. The year of prophecy, because we in the spirit of prophecy. And all kind of prophecies is coming to pass. Look what happened. We in the month of second month of this year, and all kind of prophecies is coming to pass, and there's still more to come. So with that, close it out. So with that, we're gonna close oh. it out. Kyle, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakab, Rudash, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Until next time, Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. Come here, Shalom. 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 Shalom.